collective flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afro Scene. Today I'm here for the beautiful and handsome collective. Hello, collective. Hey, y'all. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. To book a private reading with me or to shop in my store, all that information is in the description box below. All right. Um, let's get into it. All right. So this is a channel message here. Um or dream state, uh, dream state message, I'm sorry. So in my dream state last night, um, I saw two people arguing and fighting. They were arguing outside though. It looked like one of those inner city blocks. So if you live, well, I'm sure it's all over, all over the states and city, I don't know, but it just gave me up north, right? Like New York, you know, DC streets, you know, um, Baltimore streets, you know, stuff like that. It's, um, it was like the row homes. There were houses, but they were row homes. And there were two people that were arguing. It was completely dark. You can only hear them. But as soon as they went outside, um, the sun came out. Like everything came out. Like every, all was being exposed. The sky was very red, like a reddish orange. And at that time, to me, it represented some kind of like fury, F-U-R-Y, that was getting ready to, you know, start to come about and just destroy. So as the sun or the sky started to get like a bright, it was like a bright reddish orange and it just kept getting brighter and brighter, everyone started to come outside. And I saw um, like comments being shoo through the sky. I saw like meteorite showers. I just saw like fireball showers. That's just the best way I can explain it. I had nothing to worry about because I knew I was protected. Not everyone was protected, but the 144, if you know, you know, okay. But the 144 were there and we all just, we just basically, we just watched as everything unfold or everything like fall apart. And as the two individuals, um, they're the one that mainly caused this, caused this eruption or this disruption of peace because they, they weren't peaceful to peace. They were very disruptive. So they're the one that kind of created this fall for themselves and everyone is seeing it play out. So as they continue to argue and fight, um, there was a woman there. She was bleeding. She was cut from her stomach. There was an incision. Like if you had a C-section, you know, they, they there's an incision where they take the baby out. But there was an incision there and I was looking at the body. There was no baby there, but you can tell that they was. Like it was recently a baby there. Um, again, this ain't gonna resonate for everybody, okay? I saw the incision there. Um, and every time the woman would, uh, get upset or irate, blood would start to kind of like fall out. I don't want to get too gory or deep with that, but just say she was bleeding. And as she was bleeding, the blood would fall to the surface. It wasn't like a ground. It was more like a grass area. It would kill the grass. And I kept looking at it and I'm like, what in the world? Like every time she would drop blood or blood would fall or whatever, any type of like living organism, that's the best way I can explain it. It literally would like get brown and or black and it would just like turn or rot or die. So the more she kept bleeding profusely, the masculine also saw as well, but didn't realize what was going on at the time. Yeah, I get weird dreams like this. 
And come to find out the masculine is now confronting the person who gave them the, the STD because that was the correlation when she kept dropping the blood onto the grass it turned like a like a rot it brought it away it couldn't replenish it couldn't fix itself no matter what like it couldn't do it and that's when the masculine got alerted to what was going on and yeah they found out about their std but this feminine energy is going to abandon the situation the eight of cups here going to leave this person high and dry and this person has to figure out how to, you know, take care of themselves, how to reheal themselves, wherever the case may be here. And that's not going to happen. So there's going to be some kind of revenge thing going on towards this feminine energy. And this masculine is not playing. <clears throat> this masculine now knows where they got it from. And they are furious. Furious. It was a lot going on in that uh, in that dream. We got the tower and the four of wands. It was a lot going on in that dreams. I just keep hearing my stomach hurt. My stomach hurt. You need to help me. You need to help me. My stomach hurt. You need to help me. And I'm hearing I'm carrying your baby. I'm also hearing that ain't my baby. It's a lot of back and forth around a baby. <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, yeah, like family feud, or whatever, spouse, whatever the hell shit this was, the judgment, and then the Seven of Cups in reverse, judgment upright, Seven of Cups in reverse, fucking tower came out, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, judgment, and the Seven of Cups in reverse, wow. Someone feels trapped in their, their choices. They're getting a reality check that all the things that they have done is now catching up to them or has catched up to them with this judgment here. We do have the emperor. So it's someone who may come off as an emperor, but they're not. They're stuck. <laughs> they're stuck financially, medically as well. They want revenge on this, this feminine energy. Yeah, they want revenge. Like this woman came in and destroyed this masculine's life or masculine feminine, however it resonates. Now I'm just going by what was in my dream. This feminine came in and destroyed this masculine's life. And this masculine is like holding on to their life in regards to just life choices, their reality or reality check. They're trying to backtrack. We got five of cups here. Hmm. Damn. With the temperance, they are extremely disappointed in their actions. The stream, uh, extremely, extremely. We got the temperance in reverse. Could be dealing with the sage. Hmm. Uh, what's this? A Sag. Judgment is Libra. Tower is Scorpio. Can be done with a Sag or a Scorpio or Libra. bad news page of cups in reverse they are devastated by the 
the bad news of just how everything is turning out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Like they're seen as a pillar amongst their peers, their community. And ain't nobody gonna rock with this. Like I said in my dream state, I saw like the sky turn like a reddish orange and it just kept getting brighter and brighter and you just saw comments coming in and everyone is just watching this person just take a fall, a massive fall. And no one is gonna help because it was like when they were arguing in the middle of the circle, everybody came out, but it was like the 144 in that way because we weren't afraid or we weren't scared of even though the sky was changing colors and there were like meteorites and showers that were coming in. There was not an ounce of fear amongst any of the 144. We just sat there or we stood up there and we watched. And we just watched these two like create destruction for, for themselves and for their connections. And then everything's just more so like faded to black or just disappeared. And this is what's happening here. They're gonna disappear. Like, I don't even know how to explain that shit, bro. I don't know if you can hear them train horns. They want to hurt each other. I just keep hearing their their existence will cease to exist. That's what I heard. It's like, who can hurt who the worst? And this masculine feels played because they so-called trusted this person. Mm -hmm. But they feel so played, they feel so hurt, hurt that their, their image is more tarnished than anything because they swore that this person was it. They were it all right. <laughs> oh, they were it all right. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of quick, quick sex, quick communication. Eight wands, could have been an orgy. Yeah. This masculine is not going to stop at anything to hurt this feminine energy. And this feminine energy is not going to stop anything to hurt the masculine. They're going to destroy themselves. They are destroying themselves. Basically, spirit is saying, you ain't got to do nothing. You just just let it let it play out. Let it watch. Let it play out. You got to let this play out. This has to play out. It's a lot of alcohol involved. Yeah, loss. This has to play out. It's like two karmics to the end. And that's, yeah, it's, it's to the end. Got to let this play out. All right, so I'm hearing someone's going to try to intervene in this person's karma. Okay, whatever you want to do. Um, I heard is exactly like this. Expect blowback from uh, interrupting this person's karma. So someone was having second guesses or second thoughts and wanted to help a karmic. Hey, that's up to you. You got to do what you got to do. But um, I guess you yeah, <sighs> Why would you do that? <laughs> oh, man, why would you do that? Anywho, there's someone in the collective here. I gotta be honest. Someone in the collective here prayed for betterment of the kar karmic. Now there's an actual person. Yeah, there's an actual person in the collective that's sick. I heard it clear as day. It's a collective. They didn't listen. They didn't heed warning. Okay. Well, I'm moving forward. That's all I'm going to say on that. If somebody's trying to interfere with a karmic's karma. Oh, spirit, spirit will handle that. Whoever's doing that in the collective, spirit will handle that. Yeah, because they didn't listen. Okay. Well. All right, moving forward. 
Mm-hmm. Rebel. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to turn the comments off on this one. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. Huh? You were warned. You were warned. All right, let's see what's going on. What else is going on, Spirit? Oh, Spirit, 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 Spirit. I'm telling you, are you okay? <laughs> Why would you intervene? Why would you intervene on it? Like, why? <laughs> Man, someone's gifts can be going away because of this. I, I got to keep it real. I'm telling you. I, I got to keep it real. You were forewarned not to step into this person's karma. Leave it alone. Go about your day. You were warned. And somebody felt sorry for a karmic and did something to try to change the trajectory or the path of the karmic, karma. And it was already etched in stone so you were trying to go against what was already etched in stone and yeah didn't listen to your intellect or your your spirit you didn't listen to your spirit and your spirit was giving lots of warnings so spirit is saying there's no justice when you are on the up and up I'm speaking generally for the collective when you're on the up and up and you your good karma outweighs your bad karma, keep it there. Keep your good karma in great standing or keep your great karma in great standing. And when your spirit tells you divine, God, Jesus, universe, however it resonates for you. But when your higher power, higher, higher source tells you to stand back, stand down, leave it alone, please take heed. Please. Hmm. Somebody's world is shaking up right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm telling you, anger. And this is this is not a karmic. This is a collective. That's this is a collective I'm speaking to. That's getting ready to be reprimanded. I'm t I'm telling you, learning. Okay. <laughs> right now, so my birthday could be in what's that? Um. April. So my birthday could be in April number four. I, yeah. Afraid of that being exposed or spoke about. Repressed feelings. Why would you help this person? Regret. Why would you do that? <laughs> Anywho, so whoever that's for in the collective side, okay? That's why you're going through karma. That's why things feel like it just fell apart at the scene because... Whatever prayer, whatever you did in regards to trying to change the trajectory of the karmic, now you're in now you're involved in that karmic's karma. So uh with yeah, so with the karmics here, they're just in a whirlwind or whirlpool of just karma and they just Whoever's involved, whoever wants to be involved, whoever's placing themselves to be involved, they're going to be sucked into that too. <clears throat> Trapped. <laughs> Someone's going to be triggered by this news.
This woman is playing a cat and mouse game with this masculine because this woman knew that she had the incurable before sleeping with this person and did it on purpose anyways because she knew this person had unfinished business with you. So she knew that if she was to sleep with him and infect him, not only is she infected, he's infected, but try to come back towards you to get infected and it didn't work in that way. So somebody felt sorry, forgiveness in the midst of drama. And you know, I, I don't, I, I'm, hey, I'm just a messenger. That's what I see. So. Mm -hmm. this is what I see uh, look contracts like you null and void the contract like uh, I don't know it's just accountability accountability and sing changes someone's going to have to learn that lesson again they didn't learn that lesson they're going to have to go through another cycle of learning that again and not pulling people out of things that they place themselves in because they're just going to suck you in and that's exactly what happened here yeah someone got sucked in let them people be on their own let them do what they do I ain't got nothing to do with you, but I'm I'm just I'm just the 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 messenger. We got loyalty in reverse. This karma ain't loyal to nobody. <laughs> it's not loyal to nobody. Well, the negative karma ain't loyal to nobody. I want some French toast. <laughs> Just go is in reverse. Someone did not listen to their guide. The community and the void is here. Compassion is in reverse. Like, it's like, the karma, like, I don't care. You should listen. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. Not gonna get my feelings involved. I'm just not, just, okay, continue. <laughs> Oh man, oh man, vision, 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 vision. Yeah, pain. You gonna see someone in pain, someone that was a part of the collective is not anymore. You gonna be shocked by who this person is too. You gonna be like, what? Yeah, you gonna be shocked this person's connected to Man, illumination. This person is connected to, to the karmics, your past. And you'll be like, come on, bro. You, you, bro. They turned. Yeah. Now, I have to say, once you find out who this person is, Okay, how it resonates in your story, you're not going to, you're going to be in a phase. And hey, I don't, I understand you're going to be in a phase where you're not going to trust people for a while. You may have been opening up to the fact that you could have, or you're starting to. Let me put, no, no. You may have um, entertained the idea of wanting to trust others again. But you're going to find out 
the someone that was for you went against you but prayed for that person the karmic to get better do better and nah they're sucked up in the karma as well too so you're going to find out who that person is that is going to leave a bad taste in your mouth to where you're going to be like yeah i, I don't want to trust anyone anymore like you really going to be like man that was a curveball that a lot of people or a lot of you guys may not have seen coming but you stayed the course and you will be rewarded abundancy and reflection so it's a curveball that you did not see coming so someone that was for you that's not for you anymore yeah went against you and thought by praying for the karmic so they can get better yeah they tried to protect the karmic here ain't that something why would you do that you was in the clear. That didn't make sense. Why would you do that? But anywho, someone that was in the clear, yeah, that was in the flow of things energetically, went against better judgment, felt, I guess, felt sorry for this karmic, went and did some kind of work for this karmic on their behalf, tried to protect them, and it fucked up. It, it fucked up their karma. Sudden changes, it, it fucked it up. How would you do that? <laughs> come, come on. Man, stop playing with me. Listen. Yeah, growth is in reverse. They ain't growing. Oh, me, oh, fucking my. Why would you do that? <laughs> I am not coming back. Of course not. So, uh, Spirit wants you to you want to know who this person is. This is another person, like another one added to the bunch, okay? That you thought was smarter than this and clearly you're going to see. Fourth month is April. Whatever, whatever zodiac signs are those, it could be that person. I don't keep up with the zodiac signs, but just mine. So I want to say what was that? April. What's that? Aries and Pisces, or Aries and Taurus. So it'll be between Pisces, Aries, or Taurus. That could be the sign. They were doing really good, and they went against better judgment. Damn man, the Great Crumble. That, that says a lot that the karmics had a lot of karma. They've accumulated a lot of karma. Yeah, you can get karma if you're not supposed to. Yeah, sometimes you got to let people go through their karma so they can truly understand not to do it again. Sometimes you can't interfere with others' karma. You got to let it play out. Like, you got to let it, you got to let it be. And this person didn't let it be. They just got out of struggling. That's, that's. Oh, that's the part that's burning me up. They just got out of struggling. And now they put themselves back into a, why would you do that? <laughs> why? Oh, oh, my God. Man, make a wish is in reverse. Well, I guess we don't have to talk about it. I'm trying to escape, but every time I try to think of something else or channel something else, it keeps going right back to this person. Well, Okay. Ah, what the fuck would you do that? Yeah, anyhow, let's see what else. I do want some French toast. I do. That sounds so good. Yeah, the big picture. Not on you, collective. More on that person. You may have a deep knowing, so it's another person that's doing dumb shit, weird shit, that's going to be exposed. Okay, completely new, but you, you may have had a feeling, but you wasn't sure, but this person may have kept coming to you periodically, 
sometimes like a flash and like ah, uh, uh, nah, I'm not sure like that uncertain but this is like a relatively new thought that you may have had recently that's the deep knowing that's the person I'm speaking to here or speaking about <clears throat> undresses in reverse they don't want you to unaddress to undress them people are weird <laughs> yeah attached They attached themselves to, to this group's karma. Follow the spark. They did it. What would make somebody do that? And no, it wasn't spell work. It wasn't spell work. They just felt like they needed to do it. I guess despite you, I don't know. But it wasn't no spell work involved because they were on the right side of things. There was no spell work involved of the mind, I'll say. They just they did this on their own. Yeah, time or moment. Arrival? What the f Huh, child. I should just be deeper. <laughs> so you want to learn about a new person that was a rival? That's you may know. <laughs> Libra, there's a Libra that has a lot of anxiety. That's broke. This shit is just weird. <laughs> Mm hmm they having bad luck here and you may have started to have faith in regards to you know what yeah let me start to open up myself more to wanting to trust others and then this person does this bullshit here and you're like why would you do that weird telling you bro see <sighs> bro secret karma so maybe they are aware that they're going through this but they try to protect a karmic why despite the collective you were a part of the collective which doesn't make sense to me why would you like they just got out of they just got out of it for real they just got all the negative everything they cleared up everything and they back on that side that's weird ain't no fucking way y'all tripping ain't no way i couldn't do it mm -mm. there's no justice in this for this person that did this hmm. that's sad you may have worked with this person They may have an STD. However, work resonates with you. You may have worked with a couple of people, but this is like a new person on the radar, like a newly detected person or a newly discovered person, also with the panel as well. Whoever this resonates for, you could have been friends with this person. Technology. This person may love to dance. Yeah, use your intuition. This is a newly something. So let's just say today is Monday, the 22nd. Happy Earth Day, but April 22nd, right? Um, and let's just say this took place on like April 15th, like that, like very recent. But this person is newly discovered, newly recent in your space, your energetic space here. They're going through karma. <laughs> Spirit wants you to, yeah, intuitive lover. They could have been working with your lover secretly. This is weird as fuck. Like what? Yo, weird, bruh, black man, man, get the out of here, ain't weird, people are fucking weird. You gonna fuck up your good karma for what, for, ch man, I'm listening to, we are in the Uranus 
in Taurus conjunction that happens every 14 years, not 84, so I stand corrected. It happens every 14 years. Can you imagine being in a negative cycle, a toxic cycle for 14 years? Damn. Sudden changes. Untrustworthy. What is wrong with people? They are depressed. <sighs> you could have been friends with this person. You could have been around this person. Or you may have seen this person around. You may have recently maybe became friends with this person. But it's a recent, recent person. A recent person. Maybe a recent person that you thought of. But a recent person. You may have felt comfortable speaking up and out in regards to what has transpired. And this person did their own research, went digging, went searching. This is weird. And decided to go against the collective when they were a part of the collective to prove a point. Whatever point that is, it wasn't proven, but okay. <laughs> oh, man, this is no... <laughs> You fuck up your karma, bruh. Hey. They are stressed to the max. They're trying to erase this or they're trying to cleanse their energy, but they can't cleanse it. <laughs> People are... We got angels in reverse, low self-esteem. do is I have a spray that's called friend or foe for real it's called friend or foe I need to promote that more and basically you spray that spray on you and it determines to see if you're around actual real true friends or a foe so the more you use it the more you'll start to see the true nature of people because sometimes people can like really mask themselves or hide themselves and it'd be like the the last person you would expect but this is like a recent person, either you met, you met through work, whatever. You may have maybe have established some kind of rapport or some sad nature. But it's like a recent new something. Could be past six months to a year. It's a recent something. It went against you. Miscarriage is, in, is miscarriage, but not an actual child. Miscarriage in regards of the plan or plots that they were trying to do. This because they were jealous of you. What is this? Come on, man. You was a part of the collective. How? Like, you, there's no reason to be jealous. You was a part of the collective. Now you a karmic. Uh, this shit weird. I'm done. I just, yeah, so it's happening in Taurus season. Or you could be a Taurus or they could be a Taurus. However, it resonates here. Financial failure, they're not manifesting. Oh man. They were trying to be very sneaky. They could have been very high strong in the way that they spoke. This is sad. Someone is stuck. Yeah, they're stuck. They try to help this karmic from your past. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? This is, <laughs> oh my God. That's weird as fuck. Well, yeah, this person was too good to be true. You told them about your life, your story here. They were very irresponsible. See, when people... When people hear, they're going to be learning more about your story collective. And when people learn about it, they're really 
it's some odd reason or whatever. Some some of these people are going to turn against you to use it against you. How are you going to use the collective story against them and try to make the make the collective the good ones bad? That don't make sense. This was very irresponsible on this collective that's now karmic. It doesn't make sense. Why would you step into someone's karma? That's weird. It doesn't make sense. You may have heard from this person one time and then they just dropped off. You haven't heard from them. This is this person could be uh bisexual. This shit don't make no damn sense, uh, To be intimidated and, and wow. Like, we too grown in age to be intimidated by other people. I don't care who you are. We are way too grown in age. 25 and up to be fucking jealous of another person. For what? <laughs> it, it, like, it, it just don't make sense, man. You just got out of karma. Now you put your... Yeah, it's a frenemy. A new frenemy. Like a new recent one, a new friend of me, recent, very recent, like a fresh, you were doing something illegal here and they pulled away. I, what, what is this? <sighs> yeah, that's the shocking message, man. <laughs> Sad. But Spirit wants you to trust the process, okay? So... Now that you know who this new person is, okay, again, it's relatively new, okay? You open up yourself to make friends, to, you know, put yourself out there. You may have met someone within the past six months to a year, however, three months, however, okay, the past year. I'll put it that way. <clears throat> in the past year, and you told this person about what was going on in your life, and they try to use that against you, and they ended up getting karma. Do they not know how this works? Okay, I know that's right. So we got stingy liar. Could be an Aries. You could be, they could be. Oh, career success is in reverse. Someone tried to abuse you with you speaking up and out about your past. How? This person has anger issues. They're emotionally exhausted. <laughs> Girl. Man free, how could you go? So my name could be Mary up brown and hurt me so I try so hard to please you. Leo. Someone's a Leo, you could be, they could be. Someone has insomnia. They can't believe this backfired because what spirit is telling me is that they wanted to come in quietly and learn about you and then try to sabotage you by going with the past or digging up information from what she said about them and then reaching out to people from the past about you, that's weird. It's weird. Like there's no other emotions to feel but weird. Like that's weird. Why would you? It's weird. <laughs> How would you mess up your life like that? It's weird. You just got out of karma. Like, why would you put yourself back in it? <laughs> oh, man. Now I know why spirit be telling me what the spirit be telling me. Guardianship and nourishment. You are protected. Okay? You are guarded and you are protected. You are fulfilled or you're soon to feel fulfilled collective but yeah whoever this newly found person or person that you connected with here they went against you too and they're suffering nowhere to be found you can't find this person anywhere they're away you can't find them one thing i'm noticing is that when people do things to you they will run, they will hide or they'll run away because they don't want you to know that they're doing something towards you, which actually makes them more guilty. 
But whatever. <clears throat> we got picture and mug like they're guilty as hell. <laughs> they may be coming to you for help, so be very mindful of that. So if there, again, there's a newly person you may have connected to, I say within the past six months or so, let's say that within the past six months that you thought was okay, was cool, you can let in, whatever, no, walk away because they're going to try to come back to uh, ask for help or, you know, something in that way. But they're going to spin it to where it doesn't come off that they were, they, they actually got involved in that mess too. It's just weird. But yeah, you told someone what was going on. And this person, I guess, thought that by having that information that they one up you whatever and um they are they are they are mistaken <laughs> they are mistaken this is weird that's what happened it's the end so second chance they don't get or they don't even get a third chance because they did have a second chance but they blew their second chance so now the ball is in the spirit's court or the divine's court. Hmm. Just wait. You'll see. You'll see. Just wait. That's sad. Yeah, you told someone your story. You told someone your story and I guess they didn't believe you. I don't know, child. I don't know. They didn't believe you. Now they're imprisoned in their mind. No one is understanding when I say stop playing. Stop playing with candles. Stop playing with it. You want to work with it? Fine. Work with it. In a very healthy manner. Work with the candles. Absolutely. I encourage that. But stop playing with candles. No matter how much knowledge or experience you have, stop playing with candles. Stop playing with it. Stop playing with it. It's the difference between playing and working. Playing means you're not serious at all. You have it's for shits and giggles. But if you're working with it, you're serious. When you put in work, you're serious about something. So you're not going to abuse or disrespect the craft. How in the fuck you going to call yourself supposedly a collective, but now you're on the karmic side? You ain't making sense. Stay out of people's karma. That's the message for today moving forward. Stay out of people's shit. Mind your business. Like, why would you think the collector telling you the story that that was supposed to, yeah, material, that was supposed to, you were supposed to have a one-up? What? Oh, okay, now they feel small. They're going to know you know. Sad. This person's a pretty good cloaker. They are. They are pretty... They're a pretty good cloaker. They, ain't, they can't cloak no more. <sighs> we got no here. It's weird. got Robin in reverse they can't see they can't fly it may have been a good um seer they're in pain this person can remote review from far yeah they can move things from far they can remote review they can't do that anymore like why would you fuck up your gifts for a fucking karmic that you don't know nothing because only of what you heard. If that makes sense? If somebody's coming and tell you their story, yeah, cool. Why do you feel like you can 
you interceding on someone's karma, that was the most dumbest thing ever. I, I don't feel sorry for dumb people. I just don't. <laughs> and that could be the reason why I, now you know why this person fell off the face of the earth. Again, this is a recent person, new person, because they was up to no good. <laughs> now they ass getting taxed. <laughs> You try to be friends with people. You try to attempt to to be friends with people, and they they just can't handle they can't handle it. It's crazy. It's a shame. Sad. Anywho, that's the plot twist. Someone's having complications of this. Okay, someone could be from Virginia. Someone's chopping wood, or they love to chop wood. Your name could be Axel. There's something wrong with your Axel. If you live in a warm space, and the sun's been calling you, meaning you've been you, you know you've been resonating, wanting to sit outside in the sun. You should, okay. Let's keep hearing the sun's calling my name. <laughs> Look, sun. <laughs> All right, it is good to get good sunlight. It definitely is. I'm hearing Dar Darwinism. Darwinism. D A R W. Someone's name could be Darwin. Darlene. Someone likes to draw. Raw. This is raw news or new new news to you, but there's someone that you recently been thinking about that's been doing dumb shit. They've been going to war against you for no reason. I don't I don't know what's going on with people, child. Mm -hmm. Someone's name could be Umar, U-M-A-R, Amar, A-M-A-R. Yeah, someone could be a Taurus, T-A-U. Let me put this down. Yep, someone could be a Taurus. Toys R Us, you could be from Washington State, Ontario. Someone has genital warts, we're going to learn that they have genital warts. Sun kiss. I'm hearing great googly moogly. <laughs> great googly moogly, that's what I'm hearing. All right, let's see. 10th house, Sag. Sun, dealing with an actual Sag. All right, we got Scorpio, 11th house, Neptune, 12th house, uh, Libra, Jupiter. I'll do two more of these. All right, so we got Sun sign, Capricorn, 12th house. Fourth house, sun sign, Aries. Okay. All right, so we got Sag. I said Aries, I said Capricorn, Libra. We got Virgo. We got Cancer. Pisces, one more. Virgo, okay? Whew. So, if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Till next time.